Hello. <laughs> the Ishtar Gate from the ancient city of Babylon in Mesopotamia, a region in today's Syria and Iraq. This reconstruction is a trip back in time and a memory of home for these people. Kefa Ali Deeb says she fled Syria after the government imprisoned her four times for political activism. The visitors also fled violence in Syria and Iraq. Kefa shows them a copy of Hammurabi's Code, believed to be humanity's first ever written laws from a region now sunk in lawlessness. For me, I think this project is very important even for integration. Because like people who came from the war, like they feel less like trust in themselves. And in this tour, we help them to rebuild this trust. Over 5,000 refugees have taken part in the tours. Guides are trained in the space of four days, and they aren't all museum professionals. They include artists, archaeologists, and architects. But they're united by a keenness to connect with fellow refugees. The name of the program in Arabic, Multaka, means meeting place. The refugee guides also give tours at the German National History Museum, talking about world wars and reconstruction, a source, they say, of optimism. So this is for Syrian, it's very symbolic. It's very important because they are now here, they live here, and they're thinking about how we can rebuild the country after this this uh, chaos, this war. But for Kefa, the most important thing is keeping in contact with fellow refugees. And the feeling that, as they all struggle with Germany's bureaucracy and adapting to a new life, there's still reason to feel proud, as one visitor said to her. He told me, thank you. I'm very happy to know all this information because I wasn't know that before. We are amazing people. Now, other museums in Germany want to foster that pride and hope with refugee guide programs of their own. Spicer, TRT World, Berlin. Okay, okay.